I want to ask you, what did you do with the team after the very demanding season? They were not very good results, and even the game was sometimes the style of play wasn't the best. So what did you have to change? Oh, yeah. I think uh, we didn't look too much to the previous things in previous season. I mean, uh, <coughs> we came to start uh, something completely new and to try to restart uh, many things, including the style of play, the the model how we want to see the team, and based on those things, I think uh, we change uh, many things around it because I think the football it's not just about the team and the performance on the pitch, it's uh, many things uh, included in those situations. So I think we start from the beginning with the basic things. Uh, in the football, we have our principles, defense and offensive principles. So uh, based on that, we try to implement the system, the, the way we train, the methodology that we use to achieve a certain organization on the pitch. and. Uh, that style, that organization on the pitch has to be spread all around the, the whole club. So I think uh, all this time and still now we are in the process of uh, new coach, new players and uh, we try to adapt uh, to each other, to new demands. So for all of us it's, uh, it's a new thing but I think uh, it started the way we expected and uh, the most important thing for me that we can see progress, uh, daily progress, so that it's uh, that it's from where we start and we will see where we're going to finish. Could you maybe describe what trenching we are going to see in the game, in the league, what style of play can we expect? Well, I think uh, you, if you follow, I think you already follow the, the pre-season games and uh, more or less uh, this is the style that we want to implement and uh, we try to be uh, good organized in all departments. We try to play uh, good uh, combination football with uh, clear demands on each position in each part of the field and we try to play offensive football. We try to dominate football, to be aggressive with and without the ball. So this is more or less uh, easy to say, but it's not so easy to implement. But I think we are in, uh, in a good, uh, good path. The, especially for me, what is most important that the players responding well, and uh, I think we are uh, we are progressing progressing daily. You mentioned that you had to change uh, a few things even off the pitch. So what did you change? Oh, I I, I even don't want to get into the the details about those things because uh, I think that's that's all part of the the process and part of the job. What is very important for me. When I came here to Trenčín, uh, what was obvious that we have a difficult season and uh, the energy in the club and around the club were, was not on the highest level. So I think uh, with uh, our own energy and uh, especially with our own example, we try to implement many things and to to try to change this kind of uh, energy on the, the, the positive way. So. I think still there is a lot of work in front of us, but what is uh, the most important for me, there are positive signs that we are going into a good direction. Let's be more specific about the squad. Uh, right back, Matusz Kmeć, it's not his normal position. Why did you decide to put him there and uh, how is he looking? Well, I think uh, I said it also in the, the first press conference, it is uh, for me uh, I never like to, to, to speak uh, individually about the players. Of course, about the position we can speak because uh, in any position we need to use as a coaching job, I see it uh, as a position to resolving the problems. If we don't have a natural position on the right fullback, we need to improvise and uh, to try to make the best possible with the squad that we have. So obviously uh, on this position we are using now the player who can give us uh, some things uh, in his, uh, let's say, in the quality that he have. So also he need to adapt a little bit on the position that he is playing right now. And uh, in this moment we are really happy with the performance that he is giving to the team. Uh, of course in some uh, uh, moments of the game he also need to 
to get better like everybody. So yeah, we are using him and we will see how it's going, going to go during the, the whole season. One interesting arrival, Jude Sunday played at the World Cup under 20. What can you say about him? Is he prepared to be a part of the starting 11? That's for too, too early to say. I, I again I repeat, uh, it is never about individual players. It is good to have addition to a squad, especially additions on the level of the players who play World Cup and the players who are international players. So we have a lot of them who play in the senior teams, uh, under 20, under 21. So it's always to have a, it's a good addition to have quality players and uh, Jude adapt uh, well, he's still adapting, of course, it's his first time in his life that he changed his country, new new environment, new club, everything is new for him, and we are all here uh, to to help him to adapt as soon as possible, and uh, we can expect good things for him. He, he's still in the beginning, but I think we can see many good things, uh, also not just from him, also we have some Good, good additions, and I think uh, we can expect uh, when the time is passing by, they will only going to be better and better. I'm sure about it. Thank you. What about the atmosphere in the squad? Because so many, so many foreign players, and mix Slovak and uh, foreign side. You mean it's not good that for atmosphere or from your from from your point of view? But from my point of view, I mean it's. Uh, I play football in maybe six different countries and it's always mixed of foreigner and uh, domestic players and, and I think it will always be in any squad in the world from England maybe the best league in the world so until the last probably league in the world you have mixed so my my whole life I see football as a part of uh, social life who is bringing people close together sport has to be like that and the sport has to educate people that we all need to live together in this world. So this is actually the maybe the main point of the football. And also responsibility from us here as a coaches, as a part of the club, and also responsibility of the media to spread that kind of uh, message that football club AC Trenchin is AC Trenchin, doesn't matter if the player is coming from Nigeria, Slovakia, Serbia, AC Trenchin is AC Trenchin. So we are all part of the club and this is how it's going to be with me. I don't care if somebody is coming from any country in the world or is his local player. The most important thing is that he needs to respect the values of the club. We need to, first of all, explain to everybody in the club, especially, and then around the club, which values we like. What is where we start and this is what we explain to the players from the first meeting. So everybody who will respect, he will be the part of the AC Trenchin. Who don't respect that, who don't belong, he will be outside of the group. From me and also from the group by itself. So what we missed previously, what I think, we missed some, I call them senators or uh, players with enough experience, especially players who are be before part of the group, like now we have uh, Damian Barish, Lukas Kovaisa, and then we have uh, some players who are already here in the moments of the good moments of this club. And uh, they have to explain first by personal example, of course, and then also by instructions to everybody who is coming to the club, how we have to behave. So the atmosphere for me, it's uh, great. What I saw today, like like you ask, uh, but what I saw today was, I was so happy in the beginning of the practice, not so happy at the end, but in the beginning I was really happy that I saw the whole group, 25 players, they play with the ball before we start the practice, they all play one game with one touch. So if you have the team, when you go out and you see the players, doesn't matter which continent they are, uh, where they're coming from, which language they speak, that they all play together with this thing, with this football. So you must be happy and you can see that in this club it's something healthy. When you have that kind of healthy thing, we have to spread it all, all around the place, not just in trenching everywhere in the world. Uh, you choose the captain or team? But this moment uh, was my decision because I think that we still have a squad who 
don't know each other very well. So when they spend, let's say, one year together, then I can say, okay, guys, you know each other, you know personality, you know character. In this moment, that was my decision because I think we have somebody with uh, perfect, first of all, uh, character to be a captain and with enough experience, enough knowledge about the club and also about enough knowledge about Slovakian football. So I think uh, by his character, he is a perfect example what we want to represent, but his style of the game, the same thing. So it doesn't matter if somebody is playing or not playing, but to be a captain, that's first of all, uh, you have to have personality who can represent the, the, the values that I was talking about. And I think this was, this was for me normally, I like when the players are always involved in, in all the decisions. So these decisions was my decision because I still think we don't have, a, we are not still enough uh, time together and we have very young squad to understand really the role of the captain. So this time I decide to take the, let's say, the responsibility for that kind of decision.